You know, I think I had my flaps all the way down too. <laughs> that was a problem, you dummy. <laughs> okay, now she's up. You got the parachute floating back? No, I don't have them. Two minutes left on the camera time. Okay. Okay, well, it feels like it's definitely a quicker than the KFM2. Like I said, I believe the KFM2 step was a little too tall, so it was creating drag. Um, later on, I'll probably create another piece that goes on there that'll raise up the step so it's not as uh, high. So hopefully that'll give us a better uh, test of what the KFM2 airfoil will be on this plane. Oh, that didn't sound good. <laughs> what was that? Okay, but otherwise, um, this one definitely feels um, probably just as quick as the Clark Y airfoil did. It does feel a little more stable in the uh, roll. What happened, man? Oh. Whoa, what happened, dude? Oh, no! Oh, damn! Oh, I, no. I what turned happened? the uh, flaps on, and it made it do a weird, crazy spiral. I couldn't get out of it. So Alright, let's on. go check it out, man. Alright, you're on, dude. Okay, guys. Unfortunately, it looks like I had a tragedy with the Jupiter. Um, it happened right when I, I clicked my uh, flaps totally on. The last time I landed, it worked fine, but for this for some reason this time it put it in a weird spiral dive and I couldn't get back out of it. It went straight in the ground. Looks like the nose busted off. Um uh, yeah, my battery. My battery looks somewhat okay, I think. So I'll have to take a look when I get back home at the carnage, see if I can repair it. Hopefully I can. And hopefully the Jupiter will be back in the air. If not, I'll have to rebuild one from uh, scratch, at least a few so large. Well, the back half of the yeah. wing looks alright. We'll take a look at it closer when I get home. Okay guys, I finally got the Jupiter back in the house here and I was just going to do a quick uh, damage assessment of what really happened to the plane to see uh, if it's going to be fixable. So far at first glimpses it looks like it should be fixable I think. The only major damage was um, appears to be the nose fully breaking off but I think I can just basically glue that back on, maybe put some fiberglass weave around the broken parts and uh, get that glued back together. Um, the rest of the plane looks really good. Um, I don't see any big crinkles or cracks or anything in the back of the fuselage or the wings. Um, all the bolts, mounting bolts, are still nice and secure in the plane. Um, I think that's just another testament of how strong and rigid EPP is compared to some of the other foams and uh, uh, construction materials for planes. Because this is, was a put over seven pounds fully loaded this plane so and that's pretty uh, big impact to take directly on the nose so thankfully I think most of the uh, energy was dispersed when the nose broke off because that was not a super solid area so I think it released a lot of the energy there um, on the initial hit then kind of rolled off towards the wings and stuff like that um, but I think it's going to be repairable um, and I think we'll have the Jupiter back in the air hopefully pretty soon. Um, I think I'm going to rebuild the nose a little stronger um, and definitely make the uh, front landing gear stronger than what it was. That was a kind of a weak point on the plane previously. So that'll give me the opportunity to make that stronger. And I also might um, do some changes to the rear landing gear. I might widen them out to uh, make it a little more stable um, on the takeoff and landings. Uh, but that's kind of the damage assessment for the Jupiter. Uh, wish me luck getting it back together and hopefully we can get back um, to doing the tests of this airplane, doing the low tests and all the other KF airfoil tests. Um, so look forward to that coming in the future. Okay guys, as you can see that last uh, flight of the Jupiter uh, didn't go very good. Um, I've kind of been thinking about what went wrong and I think um, it basically came down to the flaps that I put into posi position too early in the flight before I landed. And those flaps, when they're fully down, they actually create so much lift that it actually lifts the back end of the plane up. And I think I did that way too early. Uh, I should have waited until I was, you know, almost setting it on the ground before I flipped in the flaps in the final um, down stage. Um, I saved this little video here that I'm going to show real quick here. 
this kind of illustrates how much lift those uh, flaps do have in the down position. Um, I did show it earlier because I wanted to save it to put it at the end of the video to illustrate how much the uh, flaps lift the plane. But um, on one of the takeoffs, I actually had the flaps in the full down position, and it had so much lift that if you watch the video, it lifts the plane up from the rear and uh, kind of tosses it around by the nose. So let's show the video, and you can take a look, and you can kind of see what I'm talking about. And I think this was the same effect that happened right before I land. And uh, stupid me, I shouldn't have put the flaps in full position. I should have kept them only in the one click down. And I probably should have waited until I got a lot closer to the ground before I even engaged them. Um, take a look at this video and uh, see what you think. Yep. I don't know, but that was pretty cool looking. Okay, guys, well, that pretty much finishes up the damage report on the uh, Jupiter plane here. Um, I think the thing that got hurt most is probably my pride and joy, because this was my uh, favorite airplane out of all the planes I've built so far. But um, I don't think I'm too worried about it. I think it's going to be able to be uh, put back together pretty easily, and uh, I think it'll be flying again soon in the next couple weeks. So um, look forward to that. Um, once we do get it back together, I'll be able to continue on with the load tests and stuff like that. And... Um, do some other exciting projects with it. So stay tuned and uh, thanks for you guys' support.